Hi, this is Maria. Welcome to my craft room. Today we're making a birthday card. Um, a little bit of a winter birthday. I have my son's birthday is in December, so we're going to be using this little birdie from Seasonal Branches because I want to use the Joy of Christmas paper and it has some musical notes paper, so I thought that would go well with the bird. Um, this is the Joy of Christmas and we're going to be using the darker side of these. So let me get your cutting instructions. Let's see, here we go. There you go. Um, I've already got all the cutting done, so we can just go ahead and move forward. If you need more time, just go to the blog mariascraftroom.com and you will see all these instructions as well as uh, pictures and written instructions as well. Okay, there we go. So this is my standard card base, four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and do my stamping, which is gonna be on that small piece of white. And we'll put that together here in a minute. Let's get this a little bit closer so we can get our stamping in. I'm gonna start with the branch and the birdie uh, from Seasonal Branches. So we're gonna use this birdie, this branch, this one individual leaf, and maybe these as well. So let's get started. All right, I'm gonna grab some early espresso. I'm also gonna grab my silicone mat so that I can go uh, stamp off of the paper and not get ink everywhere. So I'm going right into early espresso here. And we're gonna go off the mat here. Beautiful. And we're going to get the birdie out of the same brown. And I'm going to stamp the bird off because I don't want that so dark. Beautiful. Okay. Now I'm going to take a water pen and we're going to stamp right onto, actually, I, was, I usually put ink on a block and then put water on here, like I dip this in and then, but since I've stamped the bird right here, I've got a lot of ink right there. So we'll just put water right here on this mat and just shade this bird in just a little bit. Beautiful, and we're just going to take whatever residual paint is on there and go around across the body of this bird. And I think that is good. So we're just reusing the ink off of the mat. And we can just wipe that away with, um, just wash this mat or just wipe it off with a rag which is what I'm going to do right now. But when I clean up, I'll just put I'll just put this in the tap under the tap and that cleans right up. All right, so there's my birdie. Now, let's we can put all the leaves on there, but um honestly, the leaves are falling right now, so we're not I'm not going to use this. Um I just looked at my tree outside this morning and there's only a handful of leaves here and there. So I'm going to use Cajun Craze and Mossy Meadow for the leaves that are out right now. That's the colors that are present right now. I'm gonna stamp off so it's not so bright. And then we will also use the Cajun Craze. There's only a handful of these out, and I'm just going to reuse that. Stamp off. Look at how bright that is, even with stamping off. All right, just a little couple of leaves on there. Okay, and then I think that is beautiful, and that will go very well with our uh, notes paper. 
All right, musical notes. All right, so on the inside, let's see, do we have a happy birthday in here? We do. What should we put on the inside? Happy birthday wishes. May you feel sheltered in the love that abounds you. I think we're going to use both of these on the inside. So let's go ahead and stamp that since we're doing all the stamping now. Make sure I'm going to open this way. And these are photopolymers, so you can see right through them. You have that stamped image there at the bottom, so you know where your um, where your your stamps go. Let's see. You feel sheltered in the love. I like that one. And happy birthday wishes. And I'm gonna use both of those on the inside. Oops. Okay. Grab some blocks. Isn't it great how you can see these right through the block? You know exactly where you're stamping. So I'm going to use that same early espresso on the inside. Let's see, birthday wishes. It's going to go first, and then this, this nice little sentiment. Beautiful. Okay, and now we just get to put this together. I'm just going to use liquid glue. Let's go back out a little bit. There we go. Liquid glue to put this together and this is a very simple beautiful card I love this paper I just keep a little shot glass there to uh, hold my glue upside down and there's our white border that I love I like using my white cardstock um, and that gives you a beautiful border. I love that. There's our musical paper. Make sure your notes are going the right way. You could do it this way too if you wanted to use more of a Christmassy look of the paper. But I like the notes. Okay, and these two will layer together. This little layer up on dimensionals. Before we do that, I want to put some ribbon down. We'll wrap this across the top, and I want the bow to go right around there. Grab my little tool. I do have a bow maker, but if you don't have one, use a comb. This is how far I want. This is going to be an attached bow, so I want to start the bow right around here. That's where I'm gripping it. I'm going to just go into the teeth of my comb here and I think I want a good size bow so I'm counting one two three four five six teeth I'm going to go in through the middle at three and out at three and then back through the middle that gives me my two loops okay this end is still attached to the spool the cut end that I started with, I'm going to take it to the back. I'm going to take it up and over. That actually crossed those two through the center and then ah, and then down through the center. I'm going to take it to the back. There we go. Just finagle it so you're actually looking at the front of your bow. Okay, I'm going to turn it upside down. The piece that's still attached, I'm going to put in my left hand. The piece that just went through, the cut end, is going to go up over through that loop and off to the right. Secure it loosely. Check your bow. Make sure everything's lined up properly. 
and then go ahead and tighten it. Okay, when you remove that, you have a beautiful attached bow. There we go. I hadn't tightened it well enough. There's my beautiful attached bow. Look how fluffy that is. And when you tie it tight, it doesn't go anywhere when you pull on the edges. All right, so I'm going to set it where I want it and cut off the edge because that is going to wrap around. Okay. And we'll just put this on the back with some stamp and seal. See, I want it across the top here. This is just to secure the ribbon. And the whole piece will be glued down here in a minute. So I want the short end on the right, roughly right there. Just stick it onto the back and then stick the other side on the other side. And this is very forgiving, so if you're not happy, just lift it and reset it so that it matches the other side. Beautiful. And now this whole piece will go down with dimensionals. Very sticky. My fingers are sticking to the um, to the tear in the um, oh, what's this called? Stamp and seal. <laughs> it's sticking to the stamp and seal. You could have put this down with liquid glue if you wanted, but I think it will look nicer with a little. A little bit of height. So we can just place that right in the center and there we have a beautiful birthday card with the birdie in the notes and a nice little sentiment on the inside. I hope you like my videos. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe and click that notification bell so that you are notified when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.